Afrobeats music now resonates around the world. London, New York, Delhi, Dubai and all other big stages across the globe. It's a good time for the Nigerian music. Amid these music dominance, some industry practitioners, however, believe not enough trickle-down effect is experienced in the industry backing Nigeria. Uh, we talk about Afrobeats taking over the world, but the genre uh, will not grow to its full potential if back home we don't have concert venues, for instance, proper concert venues that allows for this talent to tour. Um, say this year, um, Burner, of course, has been dominant over the last uh, few years. I can't, I, I don't know that he's played up to five shows on the continent. Uh, and that's, you know, because some of this infrastructure are just missing. Others say yes, the names on the shows are Nigerian, but the companies, the promoters, Music Imprint and other industry gatekeepers are the same foreign old names. And they are the chief winners in this global rise of Afrobeats. See, people like to jump on the bandwagon. The people that are making the craziest money from Afrobeats, they are not the guys that started the culture. They are not Nigerians. They are making the craziest. Some of them are not even the artists. They are smart business people. They jump on anything that is trending, anything that is big, anything that is worth what's listening to, they get the money. Some of the biggest platforms in the world you'll be amazed at the people behind it. They're the ones doing the business. We make a lot of noise. We talk. And they say it's cheap. Dallas-based Nigerian music promoter Addison Obiagu, popularly known as Big A, has been promoting Nigerian artists in America for almost two decades now through the African Magazine Music Awards. He has seen the industry grow and believes there are obvious positives for not just the Nigerian music industry, but also for the country at large. You think about it, someone like a Bonner boy, he makes a million dollars, $1.52 million per show. There's no way... 50-40% of that money doesn't come home. And you also have to understand that everybody that travels with him, they're from here. 80% of his crew, his entourage, they're from here. So these kids are providing a lot of employment. Like, you, you have to understand that. So you, 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 you're thinking about, you know, the, the gatekeepers, of course. They're making money. They have to make money. Those are the international labels, the, the distribution companies, of course. But majority of the money is coming back home. Back home, the Copyright Management Organization, the Musical Society of Nigeria, MCSN, is looking through the new amended Copyrights Act to account for all exploitations of Nigerian music, even on global streaming platforms like Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music and the likes, and even from performing international concerts. No, there are so many levels of exploitation recognized by law. If, for example, the artist is there on his own to perform for them, the artist will collect his performance fee, definitely. But it is the content that we are after. So, because the artist, you know, is performing uh, some contents there, whether it, it is the artist that composed the content or not, the content belongs to us. I mean, the rights in the contents belongs to us. Because most of the times, it is not the artists that you see dancing, jumping, uh, singing, that are the writers or the composers of those contents. Many of the works are written by some, so many people whose face we don't know, who are not the one really singing. And this money is meant for those people, why the artists have their own too. So when we go in there, we collect for everybody. And when we come back home, at the back end, office, we share, we give to people what is their due. The challenge with this, however, is that most of the big named artists are unregistered to MCSN or have their works already assigned to international copyright management organizations as prescribed by their international record labels. The ovation around Afrobeat is still very loud at this time, which means now is the best time for the industry to be strategic and just like the American pop star said, it's best to listen to the music while the record plays. Oh, yeah, no.
Tell me no.